Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna take an eye of round and we're gonna smoke some deli style roast beef. Uh, so I've actually already got it uh, ready to go. It's marinating in the fridge. So let's take you back in time and uh, show you what we did to it. But it's really, really simple. I uh, didn't do much to it at all. And uh, then we'll bring you back and we're gonna do this on the Rectech bullseye here sitting in front of me. So we'll get the uh, cooker started and uh, we'll get this deli style roast beef going. So we'll uh, see you in a minute. So I decided uh, a little late in the game that I was gonna film this cook. Um, <clears throat> so I've already got this eye of round prepped and all I did was trim off uh, the heavy fat cap, that kind of hard fat that isn't gonna be, certainly is not gonna be good uh, for deli style roast beef. And also got uh, most of the silver skin off as best I could without taking too much of the meat. And that's all I've done to this eye of round. I'm gonna marinate this and really try to get it uh, and keep it moist throughout this cook. Uh, I've got a an open bottle of this Dale seasoning. It's really good on beef. I just used a little bit of it on a steak uh, already. I'm gonna pour the rest of this in this bag. And this is not gonna be enough to cover it but it will do it will do its job and what i'll do is i'll get in here and i will uh, uh jostle this bag around and turn it uh, a few times while it's marinating and we're gonna let this go uh at least half a day i haven't even decided when i'm gonna cook this uh, i could even let it go overnight so uh, we're going to get it in the fridge, and uh, next time I bring you back, we'll be uh, starting uh, starting the cooker. So uh, we'll see it a little bit, or many hours. Okay, long story, but a change of plans. We are cooking this deli-style roast beef at the uh, house, as opposed to the Buckeye Barbecue Lake Camp. So... Um, this is still in the uh, marinade. It has been in there about eight hours. Uh, we're gonna use the Traeger Timberline XL and that is uh, set to 225 right now. So we'll get the camera out there in a minute. Uh, but I'm just gonna pull this out of the marinade. And um, one thing I was gonna mention, I have a beef marinade video that I will put a link in the description to uh, that would be very similar to this branded marinade that I use, the Dale seasoning. Um, Ingredients are, a lot of them are the same when you look at the label. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have that marinade. And simple salt and pepper would be totally fine or your favorite rub too. So, um, so there we go. Um, drying it off isn't quite as critical as it would be if you were searing it immediately. This is gonna go on the smoker at uh, 225 with the uh, uh, super smoke setting on the Traeger. Um, so we will uh, get this outside. I'll take the camera out and we will uh, meet you out there and we'll get this thing on. So the Traeger isn't quite to temperature, but it is close enough. I do have the uh, eye of round on this chicken rack, as I like to call them. And we're just gonna put this in the middle of the uh, cooker. And I'm going to use the wired probe on the uh, Traeger. And we're going to get that just about as centered as we can get here in the thick part of the eye of brown. Perfect. And we're going to watch this. Uh, I might come out and turn it. Uh, we'll certainly come to check on it. Um, but we're going to let this go up to uh, 120, between 125 and 130. Um, and we're just going to go as slow as possible and just let it take on a lot of smoke. So uh, we'll bring you back. Okay, our eye of round that's going to turn into deli-style roast beef is just about up to temperature. It's just over 120. So we're going to pull it off in a few minutes. I'm going to get the camera set up inside, and we're going to do our one last step before we let this sit in the fridge overnight whole. So let's just take a quick look. I haven't even moved it. Um, so ignore the uh, uh, the beer brats off to the side. That's tonight's dinner. Uh, but the eye of rounds looking great. Love the color it's getting. And uh, I have sprayed it a couple of times. Just a little apple cider vinegar just to keep it moist on the outside. 
Um, so looking good. We'll see you inside. All right. So here's our eye of round smoked to 125. Hope you can see that. Color is great. Looks really good. Of course, marinated. And I will put a link to that, that marinated in the description, very similar to the commercial brand I used. And now I've got this cast iron skillet and I've got avocado oil in it. You just want to use a neutral oil and I just have just enough to coat the pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to sear this uh, piece of meat off just to get a crust on it, get some of that Maillard reaction. Uh, of course, add a little flavor, um, not completely necessary. Um, but uh, I'm gonna do that and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna try to do every side, including the, the one uh, broad end. And uh, then we're gonna let it cool. I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight, let it firm up. And uh, then tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll slice it. So here we go. Our oil is smoking, so it's definitely time to put it to use. So I'm gonna start on that one end and then we'll just uh, do each side as best we can. Again, does not have to be perfect. Just going to leave it for a minute or two on each side. So I pulled it off at 125. Carryover heat probably will take it up to a little over 130. I'm sort of a 132 guy is kind of my uh, beef temperature that I like uh, as far as uh, steaks and roasts and things like that. Prime rib, uh, 132. I could go a little bit more... Uh, uh, rare than that or a little lower on the medium rare scale but uh, that's kind of uh, what I usually shoot for. One thing I like to do is sort of move it around a little bit let that oil get in there into every nook and cranny of the uh, uh, of the meat it's not perfectly flat so get that hot oil in there and uh, make sure we get a good crust on it. You take a look at that. Oh yeah that's perfect. I don't know if you can see that. And now we're just going to do each side and I'm going to try to move it to different parts of the pan and get the hottest parts of the pan in play. So that timing was about perfect. I, I didn't time that. I sort of wish I did, <laughs> but uh, that's what we'll try to do to each side. If I'd have thought about it, I'd have done this on the uh, induction burner on the side of the uh, Traeger Timberline, but I didn't even think about it. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. You can see that side there. That's perfect. And so when I pull this off, I'm just going to put it straight back onto that uh, rack off to the side there and let it cool. And uh, then we'll get it probably in just a Ziploc bag and, uh, and get it in the fridge till sometime tomorrow. set some smoke alarms off in the house here. All right, I'll show you that real quick. That's beautiful. I think this is gonna make some excellent sandwiches. So we're gonna get this uh, cooled off and in the fridge. Uh, we'll leave you here for now and uh, we'll bring you back tomorrow when we slice it up. Okay, so we've gone overnight in the fridge. So our beef has totally cooled down. Uh, lots of juice in the back. Well, not lots, but enough. To, it was really moist. Looks really good. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. Be, uh, because of the size of my slicer, and this is really the only reason, I'm gonna cut this in half. Just right down the center. We'll take a look at the inside, and then we're gonna slice some. Should have grabbed my bigger knife, but we'll be fine. 
So there we go. Looks really uh, good as far as it's done this, exactly the way I wanted it, just a nice pink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the camera reset. We're gonna get the slicer going. We'll slice a few slices and we'll taste it. We'll talk a little bit about what we're gonna do later. All right, did that really quick. So here we go. Got our, uh, just one of the pieces of the beef. And I've got the slicer already set on really thin. I might need to adjust it, we'll see. I'm not sure how this is actually gonna go as far as uh, if I've got it as thin as I want it. Um, but you can see the size of the slicer. This is really inexpensive on Amazon, so it does the trick, but certainly not as efficient or uh, whatever as, as those bigger ones you see. So let's just uh, slice a, a few slices. <laughs> actually nailed the thickness I wanted there. So hopefully this is going to show up in the camera okay. Uh, it looks great. That tastes really good too. I really want that first piece I did with the crust. I'm gonna try this one. So good. So I'm gonna cut a few more slices here and we'll go from there. So there we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here. This is going to be the last of the uh, deli roast beef video. I've got a couple of sandwiches I'm going to make, um, but I think I'm going to do those in a separate video, maybe even uh, later today. But uh, I've been making my videos. Uh, some of them end up turning out too long, I think. So I'm going to avoid that this time. But that is a simple way to do deli roast beef, kind of a medium rare. Um, Great seasoning, and I will put that link in the video description of that beef marinade I was talking about. That would be great to use uh, on this particular meat. So we will see you next time at Buckeye Barbecue. Uh, look for at least one good sandwich coming out of this, and we'll see you next time.